Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I'm going to make a review on this HS502 oscilloscope. Recently I bought this oscilloscope for automotive diagnostic use. Actually this tiny two channel oscilloscope is the one of best low cost oscilloscope for the automotive diagnostics. How I can say like that? Okay, let's go to the review. This HS502 oscilloscope is produced by Martin Lauren who is developed the Scope software. Okay, let's go to the product description. I go to the martinlauren.com where you can shop this oscilloscope. Here you can see the price. Okay, let's go to the description and we'll see what are the technical specification of this tiny oscilloscope. Here is the input voltage ranges. It is up to 16 volts which is much much better than the other low cost oscilloscope which we use for automotive diagnostics in the market. Next you can see it support up to 13 mega samples per second. The biggest advantage of this oscilloscope is it support to 12 bit resolution which is very important in the automotive diagnostics. It has clearly mentioned that it will support 8, 12, 16 bit resolution depending on the sampling rate. And next it is support up to 1.6 MHz bandwidth which is bit lower. But it is still enough for do the most of automotive diagnostic tests. So you get the H-scope software and the automotive module free of charge for this oscilloscope. Ok let's hook up the HS502 oscilloscope and we'll check. My friend Mr. Dennis who is from Gadget Playlist YouTube channel already has introduced this oscilloscope. You can watch that video to get more information. Here you can see I have attached a one channel onto the PWM output on the oscilloscope. It is showing a perfect waveform. This is just for demonstration. Ok let's go into the real world automotive test with HS502 oscilloscope. Ok, here I have attached two channels and hope to get the cam and crank signal waveform. Number one channel is on the cam sensor signal wire and number two channel is on the crank sensor signal wire. Here I have already set up the screen for capture cam and crank sensor signal. Cam sensor is a hole type sensor, crank sensor is a VR type sensor on this car. So we should see a sine wave and square wave on the screen. Ok, I am going to crank the engine. Let's see what will be the waveform. Here you can see sine wave of the crank signal and square wave of the cam signal. Look, how much clear and good looking waveform on cam and crank signals with HS502 oscilloscope. I would like to record this waveform on the automotive streaming mode. So let's go to the automotive module and we'll try it. Ok, I hit the start button to record the waveform. You can see streaming the cam and crank signals in the screen. I am going to zoom in the waveform and check the quality of the waveform to get measurements and analysis for automotive diagnostic purpose. You can see a clear and good looking waveform on the screen as diagnosticians are always willing to see and analyze. Low noise and high resolution brought a very nice waveform. So as the next test I have already backprobed the injector and let's see what will be the injector waveform. I have used a 20 to 1 attenuator here for increase the voltage range. Because you know when injector is fired it will kick off a high voltage over 60 70 volts. You are seeing a nice and classic injector waveform here. You can see the injector on time, high voltage kick and the pintle hump. Next I am going to take the in-cylinder pressure waveform. Already I have hooked up the one channel here. And you can see here I have attached a pressure transducer into the number 3 cylinder. Ok I am going to set up the screen here. I set the sampling rate as 150 kilo samples per second. I am using a 300 psi cheap transducer here. Actually I select low sampling rate here because I need to get the as much as possible higher resolution for this waveform. Then it will increase the quality of the waveform given by this cheap pressure transducer. 
Okay, engine is running here. Let's snap the throttle once and check. You can see a good looking waveform here, but we have to stop the recording and zoom it in for see more details. Okay, I stopped the engine and let's see what will be the zoom in waveform. Look at this, how much clear and good looking waveform has been given by the cheap pressure transducer. Unbelievable. Actually, I have used this cheap pressure transducer with the Hantec 6074BE oscilloscope before this, but I have never get such a beautiful result. Hope you can understand why I said HS502 is the best budget oscilloscope for the automotive diagnostics. It has a great ability with the 12-bit resolution. I performed three different tests here. You saw all the waveforms and its quality, so you can decide it. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us for more videos.